Hello, how's it going? This is Ryan again. We are playing Fire Emblem again. So, uh, what just happened, um, we just finished our first battle. We saved Tana from the evil fa uh, Fancy Lancies and, um, Grado Army. There's a lot of them. So, uh, yeah, and we, we showed him that we could spin our lance faster than he could. This little Grado man. Alright. So we're just gonna continue here. We're at, uh, Castle Frelia now. And, uh... Alright. And she's getting all punished and stuff because she left without warning. She's she's a party animal and she didn't she didn't think her parents would approve. So just like any of us would, she uh, escaped uh, her castle and uh, went to some fort to go defend and save her friend from uh, an army. Oh no. So we just learned that Erica's father did not survive the valiant effort to find out what was going on. Apparently, Grado did not have enough compassion in their hearts to spare the king of Renes, and now the king is without ruler. And we're already plotting our revenge against Grado. And now we're talking about Prince Ephraim because he's, wow, he's being pretty valiant himself, isn't he? He's a very honorable man, leading right into the castle to save all of us from the, um, evil Grado Empire, so, uh, he's very nice to us, and he'll, he'll, he'll save us all, he's our hero. Okay, so we're planning to ride to Ephraim to go help him. And, uh... But the king, he... He, did, he doesn't know if it's really that smart to be leaving so soon with Grado so close on our buttocks. But... It seems like Erica is very, uh very uh, strong about it and she really wants to go she wants to face this battle so the king gives in and he he lends some of his fighters including Gilliam the one that we just used in our last battle to um, to fight fancy Lancy's so we're gonna get Gilliam back, he's gonna continue with us for the rest of the game, and we're getting Vanessa the Pegasus Knight and Mulder the Priest. And so, that'll, that'll be good. We'll have a healer and some nice air. Uh, air coverage going on. And uh, he's sending us with a goodbye and uh, lots of money. 5,000 gold. He's jacked, so uh, he always lets us borrow. He's like he's like our uncle, always giving us money. It seems like Tana is concerned also. Um, yeah, seems like she doesn't want this to happen, but she has to do it. Erica just has to, you know. It's her it's her brother. She can't just leave him out there. And with Grado attacking, who who wouldn't respond to that? I know it's kind of like a punch in the face from from your friend. What if your friend just came out of nowhere and punched you in the face? What would you do? Would you punch him back? What if he punched you in the face and then ran away? Because that's basically what's happening here. Sort of. They're not really running away. They're kind of just like punch in the face and then they like spin their arm really fast. Be like, oh look how fast I could spin my arm. Basically, what just happened the last time. 
yeah, so we're just gonna continue on our, our quest to uh to righteousness and we're going to Eid, if that's what that says. Alright. I'm gonna continue on the Eid and we're gonna we're gonna see what we can do here. Okay, so we have a small force here and we're going to go to our second battle where we'll totally own all the fancy Lancies and Grado. They don't stand a chance against us. Literally. Like, we are just going to totally destroy all of them. It's going to be no competition whatsoever. And... Y y we can't even grasp how much we're just going to own him. So it seems like we're going to go into Grado territory. Apparently to what Erica says. So we're going right into the enemy's base. We're going to punch him back. Alright. Because they don't do that to us. We don't, we don't take that lightly. Oh yeah. Yeah, okay. So Erica... Um, also mentions bowmen and to keep away from them and that is very smart because as a pegasus knight um, Vanessa is very very weak against bowmen all pegasus knights all flying type people are very weak against fly uh, arrows so you want to be very careful around arrow people because archers I would call them arrow people. Archies. So you want to be very careful around them because it's basically a death. One hit kill kind of thing. You probably die in one hit. And it seems like we got some bandits or something from the Grado army. Oh, killing villages. But it seems like those two that we saw earlier in the story that have uh, escaped okay and it seems like Ross is being all confident a little too co confident here I don't think he's too strong yet but um we'll see we'll see how strong he is village to the east is attacked by bandits yeah we as we just saw but two of them escaped it looks like a very tough man and a little boy you think he's tough okay so we're we're suggesting we save them and uh, bring them back here to uh, to heal them up and Vanessa is just the person to do that and she is going to totally save the crap out of him if that makes any sense Okay, she's just gonna grab him, and we're gonna bring Mulder closer, and we'll put him in the forest just in case somebody tries to attack him. Make sure uh, Vanessa's on the mountains to get uh, some nice coverage also. Erica, we want to visit this village so we can get items, because that's always good. And this chick right here, you'll see her later, so remember her face. You want to be careful of her you'll definitely see her later in the game so she tries to hide her identity by saying she's a mercenary because this is uh this is around grado area i guess they don't want to die okay so apparently yeah, she, she's part of Grado, and um, she doesn't agree with how this is going on, but uh, there's really nothing we can she can do about it, because she's not the one who's leading this uh, this platoon or force here, so um, she's got to suck it up, you know? It's just how life is sometimes. She's got to suck things up, like a vacuum. I mean, you know, when, when it gets dirty around here, you just got to suck it up. Okay, so what we're gonna do with Ross is we're just gonna we're just gonna drop him. We're just gonna throw him on the ground. Just just throw him. Just gonna drop him into a forest. We have to fight for himself. Okay, and we're gonna keep him. See, 
keep her close so he doesn't go anywhere, we'll pick him up next. You can't drop somebody and pick them up in the same turn. That's kind of weird. So we're going to talk to Ross here in hopes of persuading him to join our team. And he... He seems like he's trying to get us to join his team, actually. Maybe he, all of us are joining his team instead of him joining our team. That's a bit weird. Maybe we'll all turn green to the other team. We're not in the player team, we're on the other team now. Okay, so now we have Ross. He's on our team. Apparently my, uh... My theory was incorrect, so that's sad. And we'll just use heal on him because he, he's down 10 health. I'm, I'm saying that's a bit bit more than a scratch. I don't know what he was saying. So uh, bring Seth up here to visit this place. And we'll talk to this chick in this place here. And she'll give us an elixir, which would be very useful. Elixirs heal all of your health, so... That would be nice. And uh, we'll keep Ross here for now. Let's end the turn there. And uh, wait for some people to come and kill us all. I don't know if I can make it down there. Oh, risky, isn't he? As long as he kills that chick, I'm good. Alright, now I can move freely without fear of being shot by arrows. So Vanessa can go wherever she wants. And then I just grab you, because you're my favorite. Um, you want to keep Ross somewhere near the back, because as his father said, he is not a warrior really. He's very weak actually. You get the advantage here by using sword. So anyway, we want to keep him somewhere near the back, or maybe in the middle where nobody can hit him so that um, we're not killing him right away. And uh, you want to have somewhat of a formation going on, so we'll have um, of the important people and the weak people in the middle here, and we'll have the healer in the back. Alright, and we'll have the strong defensive people, st strong and slash defensive in the, in the, in the front, so we, can, uh, so we can take the hits and deal the hits out at the same time. And then, um, now we're gonna drop Garcia here. I'm gonna wait here with him. And to get Garcia, all we have to do is talk to him with Ross. Since he's on our team, we just talk with the person that is closely connected to him. Which would be his own son. Talk to his dad. To, um... <sighs> yeah... That's touching. Just to see like a father and a son bond like that. You know, it's just something you don't see these days. You know, I don't know. I I just think it's quite touching right there. It's very very nice to just see see such nice aspects in in our country today. This day and age, you don't you don't see too much of that. And I'm just gonna let them come to me, cause um, they're they're just they're just so defensive up in that mountain. I can't really do too much to them. I was thinking, maybe I don't I don't think I've ever gone down to that village before. I think they either destroy it or I kill the whole place before anything ever happens to it, or. Before I even go to it or anything like that. So like I think I'm just gonna go and go to that place now with Vanessa. Cause she can do that. She can just fly over stuff. It's it's pretty funny. So I'm just gonna do that and uh Wow, she's getting stronger and she she can attack twice. Oh, well never mind. She's she's a bit too weak in the defensive department to do much. Oh, that's pretty good. Look at all that. Five, five up, five points up there on, on my skills all together. And uh, we'll just heal her up so she doesn't die. I 
as you keep using your items, um, the durability of them will go down. And once it hits zero, your weapon will break. You can see the durability of your weapon right next to it, uh, where you use it when you, when you when you're using it. So you can see how much it has left right before you start the battle. So if you just look at that, that would be good. You just see how much you can uh can do there. Oh, I might kill him before, uh, yeah, I'm probably gonna beat him before I even get to the, the village, well, uh, whatever, I don't know what's in that village, I guess we know, we, we, we will never know, will we? You just have to see it for yourself, I mean, this isn't just another, another reason to buy this game, I mean, like, just go to see what is in that village, what is in that village, exactly, nobody will ever know. Oh my gosh, this is this is insane. Oh man. Well it was nice having you guys here. Um you should probably see what's in that village. So you should go uh buy this game for yourself. It's very good. Um go see what's in that village. I'm sure there's something nice for you, like a little present. Um I guess I'll see you next time. When um when we're uh, when I when I get back and I do more of this whatever I do, <laughs> yeah. All right. Um. Thanks for watching and uh, subscribe as always. Subscribe is good. It's really good. Thank you for watching again.